this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts. Today I am going to do a post review of the Starry Night uh, Night Music by Diamond Art Club. Uh, this piece of art is from Wanda Mum. Uh, she was the artist for this one. Uh, so this is a beautiful, it's uh, a small piece as you can see. Uh, it is a, let me grab my little cheat book. There we go. I left it over on the other side of the room. Um, so this way I don't have to try to peel back all of the washi tape around the edge to tell you the pieces and parts of it. Um, so this was a square painting, as you can see from the look of the artwork. So it was a square piece. It was a 33 by 46, so relatively small, um, which kind of, uh, my first square to do, um, and of course I had to pick something that was extremely confetti heavy as my first square uh, beyond the paint gems but I don't really uh, consider them like a actual significant like official uh, piece to do so first official square I was like at least I was like oh let me do something small so I picked one that was a 33 by 46 as you can see small this one is true to size um, so I'm not going to go through and measure this one like I uh, have some of the uh, ones in my post, my uh, month in review, but as you can see just by looking at it, it is very confetti, very, very confetti heavy. Um, so it was quite, quite a uh, work to do this piece. Um, so 33 by 46 had 63 colors, which uh, that right there should tell you, 63 colors in such a small uh, painting meant for a lot of confetti. Um, there were three ABs, which was fun to do, to have three different ABs in something so small. Um, I started this painting on the 4th of May for the Star Wars uh, and Space Diamonds event, and I finished it on the 18th of May. Uh, I did work on it slowly here and there, and with the confetti, I did take a little bit of time uh, and a little bit of a break um, and work on a round painting as well to give myself a little bit of a breather uh, because it was so confetti heavy. Uh, and it did take me a total of 28 hours and 10 minutes to do this piece here. So very intensive time-wise. All right, so I was talking away and realized after I'd been talking for probably a solid five or 10 minutes that my uh, phone wasn't even recording. Um, but I had an emergency warning went off or flood warning on my phone and it stopped my phone from recording. Uh, so, uh, overall, uh, we will start over again. Uh, overall, um, I really enjoyed this painting. Uh, I really, I love how it turned out. Um, I love the look of a square painting. Uh, I'm just not, I just really did like my feelings I guess I just really didn't enjoy all of the confetti in this I think it was because it was my first time doing a square painting and my first square painting ended up being a lot of confetti and I like to be able to like I love just like me this most satisfying part I don't know maybe maybe it's just me being weird about it is I love that feeling of being like ah, I completed one it's done so having this where it took me so long uh, I mean, it took me 28 hours, and that was significantly longer than um, a, an equivalent painting of this size in rounds. Uh, so it wasn't quite twice as long. Um, uh, the the pseudo 30 by 40 Amazon kits that are really not quite 30 by 40, they're like the 25 by 35. Those ones usually average me about like 14 hours in rounds, but they're, you know, a little bit smaller. They go to like right about here, uh, about those dimensions right there. Um, those ones in rounds take me about, because uh, those are the original kits that I've done, those ones take me about um, 14 to 15 hours on average. And granted, they're rounds and they're a little bit smaller, but this kit took me 28 hours to complete. But it, it was very uh, confetti heavy. And it can be a little challenging to see some of like the degree of confetti you have up here in the blues. You can tell kind of in some of these other areas how much confetti you have. But even when you look at like the most color blocking I had was like right here 
in the um, heart of the Milky Way when you look and you're like, oh, look, here's a block of this like uh, salmon orange. Here's a block of pink. And then even here, there's a couple different shades. Um, and then there was a little bit, like a little tiny bit of color blocking with some of the browns down here. Uh, and that was like the extent of it. But up here, the blue was, this is what took me the longest, was the blues and the purples. Um, and as I bring it up, I'll show you a close up so you can see the degree of this color blocking or the confetti that we have up here in the blues. I do have to say, like, as you look at this, this right here is what makes me not want to give up on the squares. Cause look at, look at this, this like look in the shimmer. I love this like uninterrupted, smooth, sleek, clear, like that look right there. I'm like, oh, I love that. Uh, I've already decided there's still, uh, you know, at the time of this filming, I've got about 10 days or so left in the month of May. So I plan on kidding up another one of the Amazon exclusive um, squares that's the same size that still fits into the Star Wars and Space Diamonds theme. It's another like space type theme um, that does not have the confetti. Uh, so I plan on kidding up that one with the space theme of squares. It does have a lot of color blocking and I want to see, hey, how long does that one actually take me? Um, so that way I can try to finish that one in the month of May still before I roll into Diamonds and Diversity and um, the Summer with the Masters, the two events that I'm going to be doing starting in June because I've got my kits already picked out for what I'm going to be doing then. Um, so I want to give squares another try. Which, which I'm not giving up on squares, obviously. I just like to complain about things and <laughs> I'm complaining about the confetti. That's what I'm choosing to complain about is the confetti. But I mean, look at that. That's so much confetti for me. Uh, granted, yes, this is my first square and it's also my first like super heavy, like, well, granted I had a round that was heavy on the confetti, but even that one didn't take me anywhere near this amount of time. But I mean, look at that. That's so much. Like I felt like I was constantly hunting and pecking. Like there's so many colors, 63 colors in here. And I feel like the majority of those colors were a different shade of like blue or purple. Um, there's so many of them in here and it was like hunting and pecking to find what went where. It can be kind of hard to tell because of all the shimmer that you get on this because it does light up so well. And then as you look over here, like there's so much shimmery over there, so much shimmer. But I love the look and the feel of the squares. So I'm not giving up on squares. Uh, I just want to try another one that's not quite so confetti heavy and see how that one goes. Um, because it's, this one took me quite a while and I like being able to complete ones. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the drills. Um, so you can see these are my leftover drills. Um, for the most part, I had a lot left over. I know my light kind of gets in the way there, but I had a lot of drills left over. Uh, and look at those pretty colors. Uh, so let me go ahead and pull out the drills that were the lowest on the spectrum. I had them already pulled out and then I put them back in because my was like, oh, I already talked through this. So I can put them back. And then my realized my phone wasn't actually recording. Yay. So now I get to do it again. Yay. Well, it's a fair amount, but we'll still pull it out. 53 was one and 55 was one. We'll go with those ones. So um, we'll kind of compare, uh, we'll kind of compare these ones to like an average number of leftovers. Like we'll just say like this, this is be kind of like what I would expect. So this is kind of what I would expect to see, like most of the empty one or most of the leftovers kind of fell into this, which is a fair number of drills where you feel comfortable with how much you have left over with that. So that's like an average number of leftover drills. Pretty good number. Happy day. You're good with that. Uh, so now these would be the colors that I had very little leftover on. So this was number seven right there. And you can see not a lot right there. That was one of the browns. And then as I roll into these ones, this is a purple, so this is 28, and then a lighter purple, 29. So you can see there's the 28, 
not a lot left over in that one. And 29 had uh, very similar, not a lot left over on that one. So those two, not a lot. 35, another brown, not a lot of drills left over right there. Loud motorcycle driving by. They like to cruise up and down my road and I have really bad, um, well, I have the original windows in my house, which means they have no, they're like single pane, really bad windows. I need to get them replaced, but I don't feel like coughing up the money to do it yet. So I'm gonna stick with my really bad windows. So you get to hear the noise of them doing anything outside. This light pink, which again, not a lot left. That was 30, that was number 41. Uh, and then numbers 53 and 55 were the two that probably had the least amount left. And these are the ones that I was ripping through as I drop them all over, sorry about that. Uh, I'm not very graceful about things. Uh, that was my nickname growing up was Grace because of how ungraceful I was. So you can see these two have a whole lot of nothing left in there. They're also very staticky, but it's also uh, really dry out here. So even though we have flood warnings right now and it's much more humid than normal, the humidity is still has a tendency to hover uh, in like the low 20s to 30s, even when it's raining. Uh, and it's been kind of raining off and on the last day or two. And when I say raining off and on, I mean it'll like spit and you'll get a few raindrops in a couple areas for like maybe five minutes. No torrential rain right now. But this is uh, what we have left. So they're very staticky and um, and I did have dryer sheets in here. I did take the dryer sheets out because they were looking better and then the air got drier. The typical um, humidity out here in the high desert tends to be less than 10% humidity. So the static is something that I deal with very commonly with all of, like most of my drill. Most kids have static in some way, shape, or form. But those were the drills. Uh, and so you can kind of see what was left over. It was kind of cool that they all fit into, the only one that didn't fit into a small um, drill uh, container was the 3371, this brown. And really it probably would have, I just threw it in that one so it fit better. Uh, and that was one of the browns. It would have easily fit into one of the small ones, I think. I just didn't want to overfill it. So those are the drills that I had left. Uh, those were, talked a little bit about the canvas. There wasn't anything that really was off-putting as far as the canvas. Good quality, as you can see, it laid really well. It's one of their Amazon exclusives, um, which the Amazon exclusives I've found, I have a lot of their Amazon exclusives. Uh, just because they tend to be smaller kits and I actually love the smaller kits. I love something that I can work up really quickly that's small, compact, I love that. Um, so, I'll, And you can see there's three ABs. Let me go ahead and pull them out for you guys so you can see the three different colors that we had. So there is a light brown, a yellow, and then a white. Those were the three ABs that they had. The light brown you will see the light brown is actually over in, like kinda in the lower part. It looks, with the way this is set up, it's got like a purple shimmer to it. This is the light brown right here. It's so shimmery that it doesn't even stand out as well as you would think an AB should. But this was the light brown right here, and then you can see it again over in here. It doesn't even, like, you don't even notice it. There's so much shimmer on this canvas. Um, but the light brown AB here, here, back in here. The yellow AB right in this area here, kind of in the area you would expect to see a yellow kind of in the midst of the other yellows. And then there's a little bit more of the brown AB in the lower part down in here. There's some brown AB here and over here. And then our white AB, uh, that one, as you would suspect, that's what all of these white dots all throughout are white ABs. So the stars anywhere in this part of the canvas up in the sky, all of the stars are white ABs. So that's what we see throughout, and that's where our ABs are. So now, uh, switching gears a little bit, we're going to talk about my supplies, which you can see I have my supplies set up 
right over here. Uh, this was a small enough canvas. I could actually display them easily for you. So uh, first off, we've got, I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. We've got my putties. So uh, these were the set that I utilized for this canvas uh, because that's what I had so far. So this is Mary Mud from Mary Making More. Um, and these are the, just the different flavors or samples, not really flavors because you don't eat the mud. Uh, but these are the putties from Mary. And then I also have some, uh, the three different sam or three different uh, waxes from um, Patty Wax that I have right here. And those are the different flavors for Patty Wax. And then up here, this is uh, my first tray from Lexi. Uh, from Lexi Sparkle Craft, and I think this is the color, the lilac color that she has labeled as um, breeze color, um, but I love that shade of purple, and as you can see, it goes well with everything else, and this is kind of how I actually have it. I literally just picked it up from my my other, uh, my actual diamond painting desk, and I moved it over here to this desk, which is actually my brush painting desk, and you can see what I keep on it, so I usually keep three pens on it, I need to swap out my pens because I've been using these three pen for, pens for a while. Uh, and then I keep tweezers on there. Um, I keep my ceramic cutter uh, on there and I keep an ink pen on there, which is actually one that came from Lexi with there. And I love that she matched the purple. And I love this little uh, adorable little novelty ink pen. Uh, I find it so much fun. So if I need to jot something down while I'm painting, I can do so. And then I have the three different pens that I've been using lately and I need to swap them out so I can have some variety. So the one that I use the 10 placer with is my Peachy Keen pens. Uh, I didn't use this one very often at all. There are only a couple areas that I could use it a little bit down here around this portion here. Um, there was a little tiny bit of color blocking here and a little bit of color blocking in here that I could use it with and that was about the only area with the 10 placer. But that's this one here and then my six placer that I could use in a couple more spots that I have from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. So that's that one there. And the one that I ended up actually using for the majority of this kit was the one with the, th the three placer which is actually um, from Paint Gem. Uh, so these are the three that I've been using. I actually need to swap them out so I can have some different pens to use. But that was my setup of uh, tools that I utilized for this kit. And there you have it. Um, so bottom line, loved it. I really didn't have any complaints beyond the fact that there was so much confetti uh, and it was a square with a lot of confetti and it was my first square. So it had a lot of confetti for being a first square. But overall, it turned out gorgeous and I love the look. I mean, gorgeous, looked phenomenal, looked phenomenal. So fantastic one uh super enjoyable to do if you're interested in doing this and you want something that's little but is still time consuming to do um they still have it up on amazon so you can check out their uh diamond art club's amazon exclusives and you can do this gorgeous fun kit right here for something small but will still take a lot of time and i mean 63 colors that's a lot for something so small but other than that, have an enjoyable rest of your day, whether it's morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is for you right now.